This month, the 567 Center for Renewal is celebrating the work of four local artists, including two friends who've created art for legendary bands like the Allman Brothers and Government Mule. Our video journalist Taylor Drake spoke with the artist about their creative process and decades-long friendship. I'm born and raised in Macon, and I've been doing something with art creativity since I was real young. Get my cameras ready and I just start. I've just always been drawing. I like to work with my hands. Kind of Most of my so work is more spontaneous. Like this one you can see all the way through. But the gourds, I just grew those uh, two years ago and they were cultivated to hold water and carry things and all that. And so I just love the history on them. I have the murals over at the Capricorn building the one on the back side and one on the inside. And I always joke with people when they say, oh, I saw that mural that Michael painted. I said, he didn't paint that, I did. He was giving TV interviews the whole time. <laughs> I guess about 25 years. I worked for a band called Government Mule. The inside. It's there, you can't see it, but it's there. I went there for the purpose of making art. He was assembling some people for the purpose of, of those kind of things. I was just in the right place at the right time. My mother was always pushing me towards that, saying, you know, you got a talent, you should just do this. Mother Nature already put the character on it and I can see how it, this goes with this thing that I found and that thing and you know things that you would typically throw away like bottle caps. Uh, my favorite piece uh, is the one called From Whence It Came. Everything can have a purpose in art if you can arrange it correctly. And that's where maybe Mother Nature made it. I'm just, I'm just arranging it. It's a spectacle. I hope people come see it. What talent? Well, you can see the artist's work at the 567 Center in downtown Macon. It will be on display until November 2nd.